You there. Garrett, they got it, baby. Baby. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's happening, Terry? How much, man? How you doing? My yes, man, sir. good. Oh, yes, What's sir. going on, man? Man, you're hey. doing good, bro. How about you? Doing good, man. Loading in right now. Had a show That's last night, up. so we got to the next city and getting loaded in and, and stuff like this. So we actually running late, too, so. Okay, cool. What city are you in? Uh, we in Inman, Kansas. Wow. That's what's Inman, up. Kansas. Last night we was in... Um, Man, I can't even think of it. I got so much going on. I just hop on the truck, hop on the bus, and meet wherever they tell me to. Cool. That's what's up. I'm in Kansas, too, though, last night, too. Actually, Kansas City. Down, okay, down, that's down. what's up. That's what's yes, up. Yes, sir. Man, we're going we gonna to kick it on off uh, Kansas, real yes. quick, man. And are you, you guys getting ready to do a sound check? Yeah, yeah, so... We actually getting set up and stuff now, so. Okay, well, let's talk. We're going to talk to you real quick. Um, okay, first of all, Let me kick off the show. Five, four, three, two, one. This is Steven Cedric talking to the band, and I'm Steve. What's happening, Cedric? Yeah, I'm Cedric. How y'all doing out there? Man, we want you right now to call, tag, text somebody, let them know that Steven Cedric talking to the band is on live. If you've missed any of our previous episodes, go to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button, like those videos, and that little bell. Hit that bell so you get an alert when we upload new content. Cedric, where else can they find us at, bro? Oh, uh, man, you can check us out on Steve and Cedric talking to the number two band. That's Instagram and Twitter. Steve and Cedric talking to the number two band on Instagram and Twitter. Check us out, y'all. Man, Cedric, today we are rocking with, man, one of the hottest drummers out there, man. And R&B and country music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dre Elam, what's up? Yeah. What's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? Man, thanks again for having me. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, we know right now you on the road. Are you with Tyler Booth? Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm out with Tyler right now. We uh, had a two show run. We was in Kansas City last night, uh, playing at the PBR, Blue Sky, some type of bar like that. And tonight we opening up for uh, Josh Abbott in Inman, Kansas. Wow, man, bro, you doing it big, man. We so proud of you, man. Uh, man, thank you, man. I see, I, I see you loading in right now. Man, loading, loading in right now. Check right. <laughs> loading in right now. I can show y'all my setup. Yes, sir. Tell me what you working right. with, man. What you working with? So I'm with Dream Symbols. Uh, these are the 15 inch Bliss hats. Uh, 22 inch crash ride. Actually, I use two of them uh, because of mix purposes, and they actually blend through when we do like live recording stuff. And then I'm triggering wow. like Ableton off from my. I'm actually not done setting up, so as soon as I get done, I can actually show y'all the actual full rundown. So, other than that, man, I play samples from there and there, control the Ableton stuff from here too. Just to play. Scroll up, scroll down, stop, hard stop, Ableton click, just in case the show go wrong. Different stuff like that, man. You know, trying to solve problems before they happen. Like, you know. Right, right. Man, an awesome setup. I mean, how I mean, how'd you even get started in all of this, uh uh Terrence? How'd you get get this all going, man, for yourself? Man, I've heard a few stories. Now, my mom told me that she prayed over. Well, actually, my mom did. My great grandmother uh, told me that mom prayed over, prayed over her stomach, and told me that she was gonna be blessed with a boy and gonna be blessed with a drummer. So, I mean, you know, it was just from birth, as I take it, because you know, my lesson growing up was taught watching Ken Scribbles live. Oh, that, that was oh my God. God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's what my dad like turned on every day to keep me quiet every day from school coming in I turned on that with, with my drumsticks it's gonna rain Pop yes sir gonna... I mean that's all I know that's what he drew me in doing man so once I developed like the actual uh, study method as far as like you know just learning like the basics about drums like you know 
about tuning and stuff like that. I started with that early too, which that's why I'm so obsessed with Remo drum heads. So wow. any, any drummers out there that, that play Evans, come on back to the crown. I'm not <laughs> with them. I'm not with them. Now was your parents? But that's my preference. Was your parents musicians also? Well, my dad played keys and, and sang. My sister sang. My grandmother sang and was a choir director. My grandfather sang and played keyboard. Uh, my uncle, uh, I had an uncle in Chicago that played too, but I really can't because he reached out to me like a while back. And he told me he was my uncle, but you know, people call you and hit you up about anything. Just say, hey man, I'm your uncle, man. You know I play too. I'm like, man, I ain't never heard it. But uh, my wife, actually, my wife sings too. She's a praise and worship leader. So it runs all in the family, man. So we actually getting ready to work on some music for my wife too. So be on the lookout for this. Hey, but Terrence, while we on this quartet, you know, talking about the Ken Spiritual, you played with uh, Tim Rogers, man, who was a, one of my favorites, bro. Uh, is that man, right? Man, yeah. Yep. I was blessed with that opportunity through uh, Matt Simmons. Uh, he was a... a keyboardist that I was actually introduced to at a young age too and man I ain't even gonna lie man I reached out and I was like man anytime y'all need a drummer let me know Wow! but the killing thing is he already knew like my work that like my work ethic as well because I'm the type of guy man it's either done correctly or it ain't done at all like you know I mean you got to learn how to cut corners, but cut corners like the right way. So the thing is, when I got home every day from school, I'm looking at all right. I'm looking at, I'm studying like these live shows and I ain't even got the gig yet. I just knew that I was going to get it. Like that's a faith thing. That's what's up. Wow. And I ended up getting it and had a chance to uh, do a couple of days with them and it was fun. I love working with, with Tim. And if you ain't in shape, man, don't even bother that gig. I hear you. So I'm telling you. Nope. Don't let even me, bother. Let me ask you a question. What, what's the biggest difference between country, playing country, and playing quartet? Uh, really, if you if you really speaking on instrumentation-wise, it's really not no difference. Because when you think about it, especially drum-wise, any quartet song, what they going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for a solid foot and pocket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, and it's like the same thing in country. You're looking for a solid foot pocket, but it's like a lot more things that come with just that. Like carrying yourself off the instrument, knowing when to say things, not to say things, when knowing when to stay out the way, when not to stay out the way, knowing when to stand up for yourself, being the only color out in the venue. Yeah, yeah. So I base my, I actually base my whole career and stuff like that off, firstly God, but being the answer to any any situation that you call for. So one weekend it, I could be out with Tyler next weekend. I'm out with Zell next weekend because I mean, man, it's like different set of rigs. So I'm to the point now where I gotta send like a rider in. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. That's wow. a blessing too. But the thing is, it's like an A-list rig and a B-list rig. I use my B-list rig. All right, bro. See, I'm about to get in trouble now trying to talk during sound shit, man. They don't play, bro. I hate you, man. <laughs> like, Drake, come on. I'm like, man, hold up. But yeah, man, just yep. be, being an answer to any problem that you call for. So one weekend, I'm out 10, 12, 16. The other weekend is rack floor. And two symbols, because my country setup is set up specifically for that like you know so you, you guys about to do a sound check right now uh terrence man we finna do it right now all right can you set your camera so we can see sure yeah let me uh actually i, I got a few things to set up so we can answer some more questions if you like okay oh yeah we'd love to love to so you got any Please. more questions you want to run to them? yeah yeah I, I, go, go I, right ahead how long did it take to get adjusted to uh, being the only African African American, you know, playing country like that. Man, you know what? I wasn't raised like that, so I've never looked at it like that. I have, and I've been blessed and fortunate not to run into no like racial problems 
everybody that I work with is phenomenal. They take care of me. If I got a problem, they already showed me like where the security materials are. That's like, you know, That's just in case. Up. So it's more to it than like just going out gigging with everybody because everybody ain't got your back. Right. I right. can say the ones that I'm out with now literally got my back. Like if something was to pop off. But it's definitely like a challenge because you have venues with where you are the only black here. Yeah. And I I've yeah. been doing it. I've been going through that for years. Like, I mean, it's, I didn't ever look yeah. at it. And I've had like questions asked, like, man, so how do you adapt to them? Being the only black, I'm like, man, at the end of the day, it's a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch some yeah, black you the, Caucasians or whatever at your job. I mean, you gotta work with them. Right. Uh, right. You, you gotta know what you, to you say. play. Yeah, you, you play with the Swan Brothers too, right? Yes, sir. I was, uh, I actually got that gig like the beginning of the pandemic, actually. And right when like stuff was really finna pop off, but then you know that pandemic stuff happened and then. Yeah, yeah. It cut everything back. So yeah, man, I work with them as well. Shout out to them. Um, yeah, they got a pretty pretty big show, man. Swan Brothers do. Yeah, man. It, that was my like first tour bus gig, like you know, actual bus. Like, mm. So I was blessed to be able to experience that. You know, just knocking knocking stuff off the check checklist, man. So you know, but. The, but also, at the end of the day, man, that buzz don't mean nothing. You still got to negotiate what you need because you got a family. I got a wife at home. Yeah. Like, the rent oh, place wow. don't want to hear about no, well, hey, man, uh, we ain't got no show this month. Well, you finna get kicked out. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> they don't care nothing about that. I mean, yeah. So just making sure I'm covering all the ends for me, but leaving space for God to do what he needs to do, too. Yeah. Because yeah. that's Real all that matters. Real quick, Terrence, you know, what goes into you preparing for these shows, man? Like, I'm sure, I mean, with your schedule, it's a lot of different songs, a lot of different styles. Even within the same genre of music, you know, country, you may have a different style. What goes into you preparing yourself for these big shows? Man, so with Tyler gig, man, it's, it's really, uh, I just recently took over. I just recently took over as musical director too. So that comes with long nights of making sure the tracks are lined up. The um, tracks are lined up, you know, making sure he's comfortable, making sure the band is comfortable. Everybody know what we're gonna do as far as like transition wise. Really just mapping out the whole show. It's the artist giving you the pleasure of leading and helping them paint the picture live. Mm, that's good. Mm. That's real good, real good. You, you, uh, I know you're getting ready for this big style check, man. Can you show us around a little bit when you get a moment? Just let us check yes, out. Yes, sir. I definitely can. Around you. I definitely can. Oh, sure, a few man, it's. I'm actually holding up sound check now. But I mean, you know, they can't go unless the drummer ready. I hear you. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> man, set that camera, man. I want to see. I want to see the whole. I want to see the. You know how you uh, how you chopping, man. To all the people that's out there listening, this is what tour life is about. Absolutely, that's Cedric. Right. I'm enjoying this, man. Yeah. This is really, really nice. I got you, man. Yeah. And and how many's in the band? How many? How many's in the band, Terrence? You got? I know you're on drums. Is uh, who else? Yeah, it's bass, drums, uh, rhythm guitar, uh, actually two rhythm guitars, acoustic, and steel. Wow. So we got a pretty, pretty, pretty nice band, man. It's like. Hey, Terrence. Yes, sir. Terrence, what would you say to, to people that's aspiring to, to, to be out on the road? What, what tools do you need? What? What do you need to, to, to be, to be out on the road? What do you need to have? What's essential for you to have to be out on the road? First of all, you need to have your house in order. And that's what all of the uh, musicians who's been like mentoring me and like different stuff like that, they emphasize on it. I would say, make sure you put 
a hundred percent as much energy as you put in, into your career and your craft. Make sure you put that into at home too. Right. Cool. Hey, well, Chance, we got some people that's that's on right now, man. Just want to say what's up. Uh, we got Janice Sarkis saying what's up. Uh, Cor uh Coral, Tidwell saying what's up to you, man. So I want to give a shout out. What up? Him. What up? <laughs> yes, sir. What up? And we appreciate you all, you know, tuning in and checking out the show. Um, really nice. Yeah, we. This is this is really nice, man. This is what the show is all about. Uh, just showing you right in action and what it takes, man. And uh, you guys have any road techs at all? Or are you doing everything yourself with the setup? Uh, we got house guy. We got monitor guy. As far as anything setting up, we do that at certain shows. But it's getting to the point now where we gotta start hiring in techs. So. That ain't got nothing to do with me, but I got uh, a guy that I'm going to use try him out and see. Because, man, I mean, I look at uh, as far as not just your ability to, like, tune and, like, stuff like that, but how you, like, operate off your instrument. Because you're only on stage and tuning and taking for, like, a certain time. So, and you represent my name, too. So, if I call you in, then you definitely got to be, like, on top of your stuff. Because anytime somebody bring you in, like, you got to execute. Wow. Man, that's serious. That's serious. I see you getting your in ears hooked up. Yeah, yeah get you getting yourself all set. <laughs> I'm going to get set, man. Yes, sir. Cedric, man, this is what it's all about right here, man. Yeah, yeah it is, man. It's yeah, man. It's I the appreciate the you guys. Yep. I appreciate you guys wanting to come in and tune in, man. Oh, man, we appreciate oh, absolutely. you. We appreciate you. Yeah, I, I actually it, caught you caught you with Lavelle, man. We got a mutual friend, Lavelle, doing it big now, too. About to go out on the road with Isley Brothers and Frankie Beverly, man. Are you going to be a part of that tour as well, or, or are you still going to stay with Tyler Booth? Man, you, know, you just got to pick different situations that's better for you right now. Like, not jocking nobody, but at the end of the day, you just got to, you know, it's a business. But at the end of the day, it's a brotherhood, too. So, I mean, it ain't no hard feelings against nobody. It's just we understand business. Like, at the end of the day, it's business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, apart from brotherhood, like, it's business. Lavelle treated me wonderful. Treated me wonderful. But if another opportunity is better, Vail is the type of guy, he'll be like, go get it. So you got to have people like that in your corner. Right, so me and Vail, right. man, we shout out to Byron. That's his musical director. Gave me a chance with it. My boy Dwight play bass, and my boy Jalen play drums on that gig. Now my little bro, up and coming killer. Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, I'm checking kick drum now, man. So we... oh, okay, go ahead, do your thing, do your thing. What kind of sticks are you working with, man? I got. It. Got my signature fader. Last curl from last night. So, ah, get on my right. website too. Yeah, man, I just got a shipment on them. Wow. Wow. Dude, shout out to Are you man. They don't. They don't sent me a lot of stuff since stuff started uh, popping off. I was like, man, y'all should just been doing that, like. How did the endorsements work? How did endorsements work, Terrence? Are you endorsed by anyone at all? Man, I'm with Dream Symbols. I'm with uh, Dolls Drum Pads. Um, I'm with Vader Drumsticks, and I'm working on a drum dot situation uh, for studio wow. purposes. Man, that is that's awesome, bro. That is real awesome. Go ahead, Seth. You just about to say something? No, go ahead, Steve. No, yeah, man, that's awesome, man. Awesome, man. This is yeah. I this appreciate is one you guys of those hanging out, man. Like, oh man, this oh, is man, we love it. We guys loving it, a, man. Everybody's getting a first-hand look. Can you adjust your camera a little bit more toward the front of your kit? Like, turn it. You know, can you turn it a little bit? Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. Wow. See, the guys are all ready to go there. 
Yeah, that's Tyler We're right there. <laughs> yeah, Tyler. Hey, I gotta get we gotta get Tyler on the show too, man. I just started yeah. following him. I said, man, I gotta talk to Tyler. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Cedric, man, this reminds me of they said this right here. Just remind me of being on the road, man. Oh yeah. I love it. Ain't oh, nothing yeah. like being on the road, yeah. said. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, remember all the memories all the times, man. Yeah. All, all great. Yep. Yeah, different places, different different arenas, different stages, yeah. Different people. Man. Yeah. Wow. That looks like his sound gonna cut out, man. He right up on it. The mic is right up on it. That's what it looks like now. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna end up it's going to bleeding and cutting out on us. But man, this has been awesome. Uh, just to to kind of talk to him, you know, while he's yeah. in action. It's, it's, yeah. It's just incredible, man. A lot Ladies, of people get an opportunity to really see the work that goes into putting on the show. Yeah, I mean, all the people that's watching Steven Cedric talking to the band, we just don't give you. Uh, a talk show we actually show you people that's actually that's out in the field doing it you know so absolutely we try to give yeah, you take try to give you the whole thing about being in a band you know uh especially for all the young artists aspiring to be in a band I mean, this is some of the things you have to go through uh things you have to do so right absolutely cool and then and hey, we're gonna take you right on stage we put you right on the stage man yep. you know so right in the action of it, man. <laughs> yes, sir. I think I think what's happening is is that it, it's up so close that we're not getting the full sound. Yeah. But man, I, I tell you, this this guy, I think I might Terrence. Oh, you got the air pod? Can you hear us? You can hear us. Terrence is really doing it big, said. I mean, he's he's out there, man, got endorsements, touring, playing. I mean, this is this is he, what as a musician you, you want to stay busy. Yeah, working all right. the time. Yep, work. Yep. That's the key, man. Staying busy, man. And and not being afraid of the road, you know, being Yeah, and, and being, not being afraid of playing different type of music too. Yeah, I mean, not music, getting pigeonholed yeah. in just one genre yeah. of music. I mean, some people just like all they play is one thing, you know. Right. You got to be able to be able to switch. That's right. You know, That's switch right. it up. That's the key. So, man, That's the key. The, yep. Any problem you call for. Right, right, right. You want to say that again, Terrence? I don't got no uh, uh bud. No. Nah. I think he's talking to sound guy down. Oh, you talking man, sound I was guy? Saying just being like the, you know, the whoever call you. If it's Tank, then you ready. If it's Garth Brooks, then you ready. If it's SWV, then you ready. Yeah. Like, you know. That's what's up. That is what's up. Right. Hey, T T T T Terrence, can you hear us? Yes, sir. What is, what is your favorite style of music to play? Man, I would have to say R&B. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Get to express yourself more, like you know, country is whatever's on the radio. That's what you play. Yeah. Right. People in the seat. That's what got the concert sold out. Sir. Yes, sir. Is this some type of party tonight as well, or is it just strictly a concert? Yeah, this is a. The artist's name is Josh Abbott. So I've never heard him. He's out of out of Texas. Tyler, Tyler, Texas. No, he's actually out of of Texas. Okay, okay. You know, they got their own uh, they own like country industry down there. Like, yeah, country music is so huge, man. That's, man, that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm look. Hey, I'm looking at the where they're playing at, bro. That's got to be the biggest form of music. is country, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, it has to be. I mean, I, I'm looking at where they're playing at right rock. now. Yeah, yeah man, it's yeah. humongous in here. Yeah.
So uh, now with Tyler Booth, are you are you doing mostly cover tunes, or are there songs that he actually wrote? Man, it's all originals. Okay. All originals, and we got a, a few covers that we do as well. So, you know, just okay. uh, yeah. Who are you covering on cover tunes? Who you guys cover? Man, it's some older guy. I really don't know him like that. But they really still get me familiar with them. Now, how much time do you actually re- get get a chance to rehearse, or do you rehearse on the road? Man, we um. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Terrence Elon on drums. Setting up for a sound check. With Tyler Booth. With Tyler Booth, country artist, y'all. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, no, no problem, man. Hey, we loving it, bro. Like, this is, this is like a whole different show for us to catch one of our artists in action on stage, you know, working. (laughs) So this is what, this is an awesome show, man. It's what it's all about. And again, thank you guys. Oh, man, thank you. I mean, this is for, this show right here is for real musicians who really uh, can appreciate, you know, uh, you know, actually people playing. (laughs) A band. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then the killer thing is I'll be trying to find yeah. podcasts that show like up close and personal sound checks and stuff like this. So when you find a podcast like this, it's like, man, I could watch this all day. Like <laughs> <laughs> Right. 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 So now the rest of the band has to do their their sound check too, right? Yeah, so the bass player going up now, so I actually got time to talk now. So. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Sorry so, this. like, I'm trying to no, no, man, we we loving it, we loving it. Yeah. You know, talk to us a little bit while you got a moment. You know, just how does one get started? You know, if you if you're a musician and you plan, how does one get started even to get a gig and and be able to tour like you're doing? How do you get that going? Man, it was a lot of setting up meetings and setting up meetings with different guys, like making relationships. That's how any gig is like corresponding. Like you got to make relationships. You ain't going to get it all. One second. Sorry about that. Yeah, but, but basically just establishing uh, a relationship with people who's doing what you want to do. Yeah. You will run into guys who don't want to, who don't want to chat, stuff like that. Mm. But you just got to, man, keep God first and go for what you want. Right. <laughs> that that's, that's awesome. I know you... Uh... I know you're checking it right now, so it might be a little difficult to talk. No, you Are you good? good? We good? Yeah. Okay. Coming through good up in the ear. So tell me something, Ted. Is that your personal rig or is that the rig that you requested in your rider? Man, yeah, this is my personal rig here. We started doing like a lot more headline shows. So uh, we get like, we have like our own rehearsal facility. So we go there and like rehearse sometimes.
I'm humming bad too. I don't know. It's the first look in on sound six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm muted. Man, we love this, man. Definitely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so so uh, Terrence, you know why we you got a moment? You still got a moment, you still going over your give him a minute. Yeah, give me yeah, give me like one one minute. No, take your time. Take your time. Yeah, man. Hey, they should hey, be able to tell what's coming though from the house though. Since we're talking, yeah. waiting. Uh, let me advertise the Soar Awards. That's tomorrow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Soar absolutely. Awards is tomorrow. So, you know, all, to all the listeners, check it out. Yeah. Soar Awards Monday. I thought it starts Monday. I'm sorry, Monday. Yep. Tomorrow. Monday. Sunday. Monday, March seventh. Yep, March yeah. 7th. Yeah, yep. yeah Monday, March 7th, Store Awards, man. Yep. So uh, I think uh, uh, if you haven't got your tickets yet, uh, make sure you get your tickets. I believe you can inbox Justin Francis and Cash App. Or I think there's another. Would you know that site, Cedric, where they can go get tickets from as well? Um, I don't know about that. Robert Kane is on. Greg Bridges, what's happening? Oh, wow, we I got, see you, we baby. got musicians, uh, yeah, see musicians checking out musicians here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I see you. I see you. Man, appreciate you, man. Uh, this is really live right now. It's a different show for us than what we've done in the past. We are right now live at a sound check with artist, country artist Tyler Booth, his drummer, Terrence Dre Elam. So uh, Terrence Dre Elam is on with us, not until you see on the screen. We rocking with him today. Yep. We are right on. Man, again, appreciate you guys, man. On location, y'all. Yeah. At yeah. location. In, in Kansas. Man, up close. In Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Wow, <laughs> problem is going on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Man, we certainly appreciate this. And you're giving us some information, good information to our viewers, as well man, as yeah, showing us, you know, you what all goes into, you know, putting that show on, man, before it starts. Yep, I got it. Being a musician on the road, you know. Man, so. on the road, unload your yeah. equipment, setting it up, tuning it up, sound checking it, all and of that. Then packing it back up again and going to the next city. <laughs> hey, but we ain't gonna be there for the packups, man. Right, we Come won't on. be there for the packup <laughs> in the next city either. <laughs> and we one city only, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Lord, yeah, they solving the problem, you know. So, but they solving the problem. All right, so you can talk back to us for a little what bit. What time? What time is the show tonight? Man, the show doors open up at six thirty. Then it's opening up, and then we direct support, and then it's the job. Right. So after sound check, what do you do? After or after sound check, do you chill out? Do you man go to the bus? Probably call my wife. Uh, study more music because we got the, I got this whole city. Uh, shout out to Stedman. I'm doing that. It's a whole city gospel concert coming up April 16th. So we oh, wow. all the for that. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. You say you got wow. a gospel tour coming up? No, it, it's a uh, gospel concert. Gospel concert. And who's on this gospel concert that you'll be playing with? Man, it's actually a local thing in Jackson, in which we've been okay. trying out to grab different people, but it's, it's founded by the local guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jackson's own oh, people, I, so they're doing a good thing. Like it's, it's, it's very good. Well, you know, wow. You know they got the Quartet Convention now in Memphis now. That's going on right now. Man, because I wanted to go see. Andrew Chia. Oh my God, man. I've been watching <laughs> it on YouTube, man. Yeah, man, I'm a Chia's fan. Me and my boy DJ, we listen to Harvey. Here comes George Dean. Yeah. He's goat. Wow. Goat, man. I mean, I, I'm loving the Lisa Knowles and Maurice Yancey. I'm the type of Maurice Yancey type of guy. 
Man, that's good too. I, I, yeah. I actually like all of them, but if you ain't been through nothing, man, you ain't no way you can sing about going through. Yeah, yeah true. True. Yeah. I, I was raised by like older people too. So if you ain't been through it, what you doing singing about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get right. yeah. You never had no hard trouble. You can't. That's right. Don't be talking about it. Like, you know. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It make oh, it make you know it, it just make the overall picture, overall picture go over better. Yeah. When the crowd can relate to what you done been through, if they know you ain't been through nothing, it's just like yeah, you know. So. Yeah. You know it's it's a lot of up and coming good quartets out there, man. A lot of man, it's a few of them coming up. I know my DJ, my boy, is the only one to keep me up on like quartets of like what's really going on. Because I'll be having so much, I ain't got time to like do. Because I used to, man, any quartet group, I was on it. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm in the living room <laughs> on YouTube, you know. <laughs> yes, on sir. Yes, also, sir. Also, shout out to my dad. He, he uh, established a, a lot in me at a young age, like, like you know, just playing the record. You can get on him, man, what you doing chopping, man? You don't even know the music yet. What you doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna take these symbols, like, and you don't need them. Right, wow. right, right. So right. shout out to my daddy. I, I did. I actually got to travel the world with him. Oh, that's cool. With yeah. Denise LaSalle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what. That's who got me on again. And okay. the, the killer thing is, they went through a bunch of drums, and I was there the whole time. I still feel some type of way about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he know that. <laughs> But I was like, man, you got me right here. And I, you, you know, wasn't knowledgeable of what was going on then. But I felt like I was ready. I was like, yeah, you got to. How can I be your favorite drummer? Then you won't, you won't let me play. But when you get older, then you see. You got to be ready. Like, yeah, you got to be ready. Yeah. Right. Everything you taught me is what got me here now. Well, Terrence, I mean, why you said that? What makes you ready? Man, you know, being able, always being teachable, always being humble, never forget where you come from, yeah, and carrying it. yourself like you was raised, yeah. like to this day, like I was raised around, I would got my butt whooped if I didn't. Uh, I would have got a whooping, like if I didn't say yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. So to this day, if I come on and I meet you, or we just talking in general, like the first time. Steve called me. I, I was like, "Yes, sir." Yeah. Like, I mean, right? They just respect, yeah. respect. That's right. That's right. That's right. 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 Absolutely. And it's honor too. Absolutely. Like, you gotta respect your elders. Like, I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Terrence. So thank you, man. I, I, was to, I, I, uh, I was trying to, I was trying to be one of your peers, bro. But <laughs> ah, that ain't working. <laughs> That ain't working, that ain't working. You good, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you, Doug. Man, we appreciate you coming on and doing this, man. I know you're busy. I know you're working, man. And we enjoy this uh, all the way through, bro. All the way through. How can people get in touch with you, man, if they want to, you know, just follow you or, or book you? You know, how can they... How can they reach out to you, man? What's your social media platform? Man, my Facebook is Terrence Dre Elam, T R R E N C D D R E D L A M. Uh, my IG is Dre Beats, but you can also, also type in Terrence Dre Elam. And I got a website on www.dreexperience.com. That's my business. But, uh, there you, you can buy like my signature sticks and uh, book your lessons and sessions or whatever you want to do. And you can DM me anytime you want to. I'm always open. It's great. Man, great, great. And then, too, man, just before we, we let you go, man, just give you know, some really good sound information, man, to musicians that are trying to break into this music game and, and, and maybe do it on the level you're doing it or even, even playing country, man. You know, what, would you, what kind of information would you give them that would be helpful to encourage them and, and uh, guide them along the way? Uh, the best advice I can give is stay authentic. Don't never do it for the money. Because the money don't never come when you want it to. Yes, sir. Enjoy the process going up. The process going up is the dream. That, yeah. 
that's the cream of the crop there because when you get to the top, you ain't got nowhere else to go. Enjoy it going up. That's it, the journey. Yeah. The journey mm-hmm. is the prize. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Definitely. That's oh, you man. say you were from you said you were from Jackson. Man, I'm from Trenton, Tennessee. I say Jackson because that's a great meeting yeah. spot. So Okay. Nobody, nobody really know where Trinity. This is sticks out there. So I always say Jackson or Memphis, and maybe all that area. Yeah, but I'm really okay. from Trinity. Okay. Now you a real, you real country boy right there. You real yeah. country man. When I think about it, I'm like, ain't no reason I'm playing country. <laughs> walk, walk straight up, walk straight out the back, straight out the back door. Got cows, pigs, and all type of mess. I just. Oh, uh, you got mud on your boots there. Man, I got mud on my boots. They trying to get me to get cowboy boots. I can't do it. I do the Doc Martens all day, but I ain't doing no cowboy boots. Half a month. But yeah, man, thank you guys again for having me, man. Man, sure. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for right, this experience, say, like, man. Really your attention, you know? Oh, no, 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 man. This, hey, oh, we man, love this it. Great, we love it, man. man. This is great. We appreciate yeah, you, man. Appreciate your time. Catering, bedding, why you on a diet? Me and my wife doing a diet thing. So oh, it's yeah. hard doing it on the road when you buy pizza. I bet. But really, like the country riders would be different, though. You know, they like the Panera bread. So, oh. like, yeah, not so. Yeah. Y'all ain't got the southern fried chicken. chicken not the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> man, you and me, some of them like that, but man, it's just baked chicken, baked fish, and veggies, and stuff like that. So. Yeah. It's been yeah. forcing me to get my body in line, which ship you out for other reasons. Like, you know, when you have kids and stuff like that, that's a good way to too. Man. Just like you take care of your gear, take care of your body. Man. Right. Yep. Yeah, right, right, great. right. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, well, Terrence, Dre, man, we appreciate you, bro. Great, bro. And yeah. again, thank y'all for having me, man. And thank yeah. you for your time, man. It was good to check in with you, bro, and rock with you for just a little bit. Dude, I'm here anytime. You can call me out there. Man, we want to thank all of our viewers for yeah. watching and tuning in. Birthday wishes got to go out. Birthday wishes to hey. Your wife, Seggy. Yeah, Pamela Hansen. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Pamela Hansen. <laughs> hey, and the first lady of the show, Gabrielle yeah. Torina. Gabrielle, yeah, Gabrielle. <laughs> I got the whole family on here. Yeah, man. We have some happy birthdays, man. Uh, happy and, and birthday. Terrence, yes, sir. Man, again, thank you, my man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry again for not being able to. You know, oh man, you did an awesome oh, interview, man. Like in a, a snapshot picture. Absolutely, much love to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 Terrence, real quick before we sign up, there you go. There we go. He's phenomenal, man. Man. Oh, wow. Tyler Boo. Only, only 25. Yeah, great. Elam. Yeah. Man, thank you so much, thank man. Thank you, Eddie. bro. Eric, take care of yourself, man. Be safe on the road, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys again, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Yeah, Many thank blessings, you. bro. Hey, yeah. hey, Cedric. Yes. That's all I got, baby. That's all I got. Let's Terrence, sign take off, Take care baby. of yourself, Stop. man. Peace right. out. Be careful, I'm out of here. All right. Take it easy, baby. Yes, sir. All right, later.